Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Silent Fusion Gaming. I'm the final chapter. Today, we are bringing you a Minecraft mod showcase. Okay, so this mod is the Craft Heraldry mod. It's a pretty awesome mod, so uh, yeah, let's just jump straight into it then. As I fade away. Okay, so this is the mod right here. As I said, it is the Craft Heraldry mod. It has quite a little bit to offer, it's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, it basically adds some banners into your game that you can um, kind of customise yourself and stuff like that. It's really awesome. Um, and there's only three crafting recipes. So first off, before you do anything, you're going to need a heraldric scroll. Now to craft this, you're going to need three paper, one string and one golden nugget. And that will give you the heraldric scroll. Now, you're going to need wall banners or floor banners. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you which you prefer. The floor banners look really nice. So um, to create the wall banner, I guess it's called, yeah the heraldic wall banner, you're going to need two sticks, an oak wood plank, an iron ingot and some wool. And then to create the ones on the floor like there, you're going to need four sticks, an oak wood plank, some wool and an iron ingot again, just to raise a little bit differently. So yeah this is pretty much it, it's awesome and uh, yeah. So first off, what you're going to do is you want to grab your heraldic scroll. And as you can see, there is loads and loads of things to choose from. There's actually 876. Um, it says so on the forum anyway. So, you know, you can pick whichever ones you want. So let's just say the alien skull. And then you can choose your background colour. You've got any colour you want on the RGB scale. So let's have that black, let's say. And then let's have the skull, say, red. Like so. And you click done here. And then, you know, you just right click on it. Like so. And then... Um, you, you know your logo is on the uh, banner. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Uh, perhaps decided just to lag out a little bit. It's still doing it now, but never mind. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, now if you can go back into this again and say, like, let's just choose, say, a shining claw, for instance, and then I want to have the background yellow, and then I'll have the logo red, blue, even blue. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely blue. And if you click done again, it actually keeps them there. So you can actually change it if you want as well. Oh, I didn't actually click on the block there. Why ain't it doing it? Okay. If you actually click, oh, there you go. I wasn't actually clicking on the block properly there, so it was just uh, going into the GUI. So you can just use one scroll and keep changing it if you want. Or you can make, um, you know, more than one if you do want to. If you've got the resources to do stuff like that. So you can keep them, you know, oops, quotation mark, bookmarked, or something like that. So, you know, this is pretty much all the mod has to offer right now. You know, it's really awesome. Um, as I say, you can, like, now claim certain areas or something. Say you're just taking over, I don't know, whatever you want. <laughs> but, yeah, it's really good, and it's quite an awesome mod. So, um, one last thing as well, as I'm bloody suffering from a really bad frame right here. The floor banner, it can be placed in any location you're facing. Um, it always faces wherever you place it, so, nah. And can you walk through the blocks? Yeah, you can actually walk through them as well, so that's not too bad. So, you know, if you want to decorate your house or any way you want, then, um, yeah, feel free. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, guys, that is all the mod has to offer right now. It's a really awesome mod. And um, there's a few things I would like to see in it, say, like, crafting your own logos and stuff like that. You know, if you... Um, if it came with an editor or something, so like I could put like say like the SFG logo in there or something, which would be pretty awesome. But other than that, it's a really nice, unique mod, and I'm definitely gonna start using this in my Minecraft world. So um, yeah, that is pretty much everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you like the commentary and new to the channel, be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. It really would help us out. Also, check out some links in the description below as well. Also, check out the mod. The mod will be there as well. As I said, it is a Forge mod, so it's really easy to install if you do have Forge installed. So yeah guys, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and of course, see you later. The SFG website, Gary's Mod, Minecraft and Feed the Beast server. Hosted by 24 Hour Hosting.